What is going on, Eagles Nation? Stephen Helm here alongside Tom Moresco, Views from the Link TV. We are bringing you part four of our Beast of the East edition, breaking down the Eagles schedule, and we just want to address the element in the room. There is, you hear it, that is a helicopter. <laughs> it's been circling our house for the past 20 minutes, like just around and around and around. So there's but some sort of LA. So <laughs> someone's busting out on the loose, so we don't really know what's going on. Doors deadlocked dead bolted and locked and went outside. I did an ocular assessment like hey, Mac and Always Sunny and I cleared that this area was safe. Okay, okay. But to go outside right now, I don't know. Okay, I don't well, know. But you know what? We're just gonna take that off our mind and we're gonna break down this ego schedule. And that's some what we happy gotta do. thoughts. And, and that's, I'm glad he went out there and, and did all that. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous right now. But let's yeah, yeah let's, let's get, go let's through get the, the schedule. Point. So Eagles open the season at home against the Browns. And rumor has it that we will both be in attendance of that game. All the way from L.A. All the way from L.A. We're coming out. We're coming out. So it's going to be good. W. That's a W. Monday night at Chicago. There's your toss-up of the first three weeks right there. That that game's going to depend on if you have a chance to get a 2-1. Because you you got to beat the Browns. That's Yeah, your you got to beat the Browns. So Can I, Sam Bradford go prime time Monday night? Under the lights, or maybe maybe it is Wentz. Maybe he start. Maybe he wins the job in preseason. They just cannot yeah. sit the guy, and, and you never know. But I think it's going to be sad. Yeah. I think they go into Chicago and they, and they win. And, the and I think they win. They win Chicago. So two and zero. Then they're at home against Pittsburgh. That could be. That's a tough game. That is a very tough game, and I say the Pittsburgh Steelers win that game. I yeah. say a two and one start to that three yeah. game stretch yeah. right there. And then, then the week bye four week early by. I, I want to I note, though, that Heath Evans uh, and this other guy, I don't know who it was, went through our schedule, and Heath Evans, they did it quarter by quarter, and Heath Evans said 4-0. Uh, 4-0? Well, then we had the Lions. We had the Lions. And you and said Detroit. this to me the, uh, the other day, that you said that Jeffrey Lurie is going to go up to Doug Peterson and be like, they whacked this last year on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Beat them. Yep. Go back in there and beat them. <laughs> and I think they are I going think they to do. do that. So, 3-1. Three three one. One. Um, then at, you have them at the Redskins, the Redskins. I haven't beaten the Redskins, so I, I think you will start at 4-1. So you I have them at 3-2. Three three two. Then they're at home against the Vikings. Minnesota Vikings, and that's a game that I got them winning in the upset special. People are already counting them out, looking at that as a loss, and I got them winning that game. And you got them losing. I got them losing so that game. So the same schedule now. So right, they're 5, yeah, we got them at 5-2. 4-2. Five 4-2, two. Five, four and two. Four and two, yeah. And then at Dallas... See, I have them winning that game. And I have them winning that game as well because I said they sweep Dallas. Okay. Five and two. Five and two. And then they're at the Giants. I believe I had them losing that game. I had them losing that game as well. Five and three. Five and three. At home against the Falcons. That's a W. That's a W. Six and three. Six and three. At <laughs> Seattle. Seattle. That's going to be a bloodbath. Oh, uh, God. Six and four. Uh, six and four. Jason Peters might as well roll, get rolled up on in the Atlanta game because he's not going to be able to block <laughs> anyone anyway. Um, then they're at home Monday night against the Packers. That's such a tough game, yeah. but that's one of those games that's like, if there's a if there's an our Super Bowl of this season, like yeah. last week, last year's Patriots game, uh -huh. it'll be that one. So we have it six and four right but, now. But I'm, I'm going to say they lose that game and they go six and five. See, I think that they... God... Yeah. Oh boy. Bro. All right. I see. They have that. They have the the Packers and the Bengals. I say they win one of those games, Packers okay. or Bengals. So at the end of that stretch, they'd be seven and five. I got them. I got them losing both of those games and being six and six. I think they win one of those games and go seven and five. Okay. Because you think about it, are they going to lose three straight against Seahawks, Green Bay, and at Cincy? They, it's possible, yeah, but if they could that, win that's one the predict, game, that's the if, if they could win one right. game out of that, which I think they find a way to win one of those games, I'm okay with. And mm -hmm. I think it'd be either the Green Bay yeah, or then you, Well, then also you could afford to lose one of the other games throughout yeah. your schedule if you can win one of those two Yeah, games. exactly. But, then they're at home against the Redskins. And they win that And they win that game. So, so now I have them seven and six. You have them. I have them eight and five. Yes. Um, and then they're at... The Ravens. The Ravens. I say they lose that game. And I say they lose too. <clears throat> just, and everyone's gonna get all pissed off. So then I'm eight and six. Okay, and I have them at seven and seven. Seven and seven. And then they close out the season at home on Thursday night football against the Giants. Win 
win. And Cowboys set week seventeen at win. home win. I got him at nine and seven. I, I got him at ten and six. Ten and six. Ten and six year. Eagles. It'll be fun to do the birds eye breakdown this year. It will be ten and six. You know, last year I had him going thirteen and three. You had him going fourteen and two. <laughs> According <laughs> to birds eye breakdown last that year. That is true, but. So how I have the division broken out is I have the Eagles first place ten and six, the Cowboys at eight and eight, Giants at seven and nine, Redskins at six and ten. You have the Eagles at nine and seven, Giants at eight and eight, Cowboys seven and nine, Redskins six and ten. So either way, how you slice it, it's gonna come down to those last two. That, is it that last, last month weeks. for the Eagles where yeah. they go? Well, the last four games. I think it's just keep things. But the last four games, Redskins. Ravens, Giants, Cowboys, all winnable games, but three of them in your division, all at home, very important. So the Eagles have a very yeah. favorable schedule so, down the stretch. I mean, unless Dallas, like, like according to Twitter, Dallas, I mean, if Dallas stays healthy, there they'll be six, seven games ahead of anyone. You know, mm-hmm. they'll be what fifteen and one by yeah. the fifteen. They'll be fifteen and zero by the time oh, you know, yeah. we play them or whatever. And so yeah, according yeah. to them. But yeah. in my opinion, I think all. F- Four teams in the division. I was going to say three. All four teams in this division will be within a game of each other yeah. come December, what is that, 11th? December December 11th. December, yeah. By December 11th. So week 14 of the season. Week 14, we play I think the Washington Redskins win. at home. Yeah. And I think that at that point, none of these teams will have over a two-game lead in the division. And I totally agree with that. And I think it's really just going to come down to that stretch run. If you can just hang in there the first, you know, 13 weeks of the season, which sounds crazy to say, not yeah. very, but if you can just yeah. hang in there and be relatively close to all the teams, yep. you really do control your destiny at the end of the year. So and that goes for every team in this division. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we're Eagles fans. We're going to, you know, we think we have the this, this special sauce this year to beat yeah. these teams late in the season. And, you know, the Redskins were that team last year, had that uh, yeah. had that Michael special stuff from Space Jam. You yeah. know, Kirk Cousins uh, yeah. carried them into the 9-7 and seven spot. But I think this year, better defense, Eagles, yeah. more, you know, more tight-knit family type yeah. group, it seems. And uh, it seems the players are getting along really well and things are yeah. going relatively smoothly. Um Seems like everything went wrong last year, and we still managed to go seven and nine. Exactly. I see, I see some things not going wrong this year, and we go ten and six. Yeah. So there yeah, we go, guys. Say nine and seven. And so. that's our, uh, you know, Visa the East breakdown. We got the Eagles finishing on top. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna do do more series as training camp continues to roll along. So keep an eye out for the next one that will be coming. We'll see you guys next time.